off one second. But it is noisy. It is noisy, and I don't want noisy. Papi J, you a monk? Don't worry about the trolls. Just do your own thing. There you go. Why hasn't the show started? It's starting now. Okay. Why hasn't the show started? It's starting now. Oh my God, I hear everything and everywhere. Uh, why do I have this twice? <clears throat> okay. I've been out all afternoon. I've been working out like crazy, like a mad dog. And uh, we have more than 10 people here before I even start the show. Thank you, Jay Babies. Thank you, So Fresh. Thank you, Chimwaza and Glenn Johnson. Thank you very much. That was Black on Black Crime. I don't condone what Mills did. Sold the brother out. Mike can take the wrench. Can take the wrench. So no matter how goofy RBJ is, no offense to goofy people, he didn't deserve that. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, sorry, thank you, Jay Babies. Mills saw RBJ out for a chicken change. <sighs> Okay, that's the show. My name is RPJ, and this is the Jonathan Steele Show. How are you? How you doing? <laughs> this is crazy. What is up? What is up? What's going on with you? Sorry about that. Um, I just came in crashing from the outside, and um, uh, what is up, Eric Smith? Welcome to the show. I got two computers to look at here, and uh, of course, I'm going to look at, what's up, UKDQ, the original UKDQ. Please forgive me. I was just outside with my grandkids. I was just playing with them. I was just doing sprints as well. Well, uh, let me, can I tell you guys something, and just between you and I? Uh, a friend, a good friend of mine came to me uh, last night, right? And um, yeah, he's, a, he's a guy, a good friend of mine. He's a, good, he's a guy. He came to me last night, and he came to me with something that he thought that it would be upsetting to me or thought it would be shocking to me or get my attention, me not knowing what I know beforehand. So he thought these things would be... Uh, attention grabbing type of information and he was concerned for me and when he told me what the information was i just couldn't help but laugh and i gave my 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 guttural uh, um <laughs> my i gave my first response to that and i just laughed because as i just told you my friend is a guy right and he has some information that only a woman would have, uh, you know, and, and a, an ex would have. And I just laugh, like, what are you doing? Are you studying the information that you have? Because that's weird, man, because you're a dude. And I'm not going to name names of my friends. I'm, I will never do that. I just thought it was just the oddest thing. Like, this is going to be upsetting to me how? And my, and by the way, my uh, most of my friends know I, I like you know I guess a lot of people don't really understand this. I don't care. I care if it's funny. It's not funny to me. It's funny to those other people. And maybe I should put the fan on. Uh, give me a moment. I am not best of my Sunday's best. Hello, Blonde Nameless, and welcome to the show. If this fan is bothersome to you guys, let me know. I, I know I'm a, I, I'm a, Mills has no integrity. Listen, hold on a second, folks. I, let me tell you something about Mills, uh, Mike Miller. Let me tell you something about Mike. 
Mike isn't a bad guy. And I know you're going to say, what are you saying, RBJ? I'm just saying he isn't a horrible guy. He has his limitations. Like, we all have our limitations. He thinks this is the instant way to success. Uh, you know what? It worked for Morton Downey Jr., right? Oh, it didn't really work for him. Jerry Springer. He's no Jerry Springer. All right, fine. I copy that. But, you know, in this realm, he's he can get a thousand views, and that's the end all be all. Right? Because that means something. But listen, folks, in all seriousness, you know, if I'm going to speak it and walk it, because, you know, I had a reaction that I was going to eviscerate. Uh, I was going to destroy the world for a moment because I want to compete. If you're competing against me, I love competition. I think psychologically I can compete against anyone easily. However, you know, I, I, the, you know, I've made so many speeches about integrity and uh, character that it can be easily taken apart, whatever bullshit I'm saying. You guys can hear me okay? What's up, Lynn? RPJ, hold your head up and stay strong. Stop allowing people to treat you like a doormat. Fans isn't, fans isn't allowed. It's fine. Okay, good. Good. Um, uh, um, quite frankly, um, no one's treating me like a doormat, actually. Um, I would think it's the contrary. I've had more of a support from like real people talking to me, really supporting the show, donating to the show. Oh my God, I just fucked it up myself. Um, I knew, I kind of sort of know at times like this, and by the way, folks, please click the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and if you have a few dollars to share me, and my woe, and my like destitute of times, if you can share anything towards the, the show for, uh, I need another microphone. And actually, I should took my uh, my camera microphone out. I just gave my number to my guy, so I hope to be in contact with him soon enough. But still, nonetheless, it does go through the show. It goes through the website I'm building, and it goes into um, um, drugs and alcohol that I buy constantly because that's what I do because my body says, whoa. Eh, 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 eh. It doesn't make any sense, by the way. All right, so... Anyway, my friend, you know, my friend is off the hook and off the chain, and I, I'm not going to mention my friend's name. I, I don't think he understands the, the magnitude that he's holding material that will make him come across a certain way. Even if I told him now, he would just think that I'm bullshitting him as a friend. But I'm moving on. And no one's, I, I'm, not, I'm not a doormat. You don't understand. This is my finest hour. I'm showing the people something they have never seen before. Uh, in that sector, in that quadrant of the universe, uh, I'm going to show them something they have never seen before. Humility, graciousness, calm, cool, and collective. And believe me, I love competing. And perhaps I still will compete, you know, with a Rebecca Small. With a Mike Miller, I, I may compete with them on that level. I love competing. However, um, I'm better than that. And this isn't about, you know, whose dick is bigger than this and who has the biggest chain and who's got uh, spinning rims on their car. It isn't about, it's never been about that for me. It's been about, you know, calm, cool, and collective reinvention, growing up, overcoming, you know, issues of your childhood over something traumatic like war, things that I've been through. And however, I, I'm going to go to the next step on. And I don't want you guys to argue with me or, or, or be upset with me. You know, you must show. If you're going to show that you are a, a man of substance, a man of integrity, a man of some some honor, I, and I've never said I was an angel, 
believe me, I'm a deviant in the most deviant of ways like most men, maybe even more so. Um, I will say, I will say, Mike, that, um, you know, I, I, I will, no matter what is being almost, almost to a point, if I know that you're competing against me, and we're in the same realm, I, I will compete against you. If I'm competing against shit, I won't compete against shit because that just values me. But we we have new players here. I, I'll compete. I'll, I, I'll show you something, and I will never lie. It will be the truth. You know, one time way back when I was dating a young lady, it has nothing to do with this time right now, that was severely depressed, severely suicidal, severely with multiple mental defects and issues who told these fantastical tales um you know lies about um her brother beating her up raping her and, and you know what i never believed any of that it was a bunch of nonsense even she came so far to say that she was lying i won't go i haven't gone and grabbed that woman up to make her ass of that woman I mean, look at her, look at her life, and I'm better than that. I'm not gonna put her on a fucking pedestal. Or, I'm sorry, I put her on a post to strip her down, tear her down. Here I am right now, and I, my show topic was about my dating life, which I am, uh, you know, very fortunate and very tired at the same time, and uh, I and and. I don't know what this is gonna make me look like, and I am actually was kind of concerned, like I, I may look like some kind of gigolo or some kind of jackass or whatever the case might be. But here I am, and I tell these, you know, situations, ladies, that um, I'm coming back here. I'm starting over again for about the seventh, eighth time in my life. Here I am again, giving away iPhones and TVs and this, that, and the other. Starting over again because I bet on me always. I always bet on myself because I believe in myself. I'm smart, I'm fast, I'm strong, I'm handsome, I'm... All right, maybe I'm not handsome or smart or strong, but at least I believe that enough, strongly enough. And, and, and really, quite frankly, in all seriousness, I am very confident in who I am. And um, I think that can make it work no matter what. And I sometimes subscribe to the adage that a man can always overcome in these things. And based on my history, it has been the situation. Maybe I'm too much of a sucker that way, and I maybe should take some of my resources with me. But here I am in a great opportunity with resources all around me, all around me, and I, I just won't do it. And I, I came here. Um, Dating life is just, you know, it's almost been instantaneous. I'm very fortunate and very lucky. And very ugly. I see myself in the mirror. I see myself in the fucking uh, camera. And it's like, what the fuck is that? RBJ is too nice. Thank you, Blah Nameless. Thank you, Azure, Tina Rowland. I'm just disgusting of Mike putting your shit out. Oh, you... Listen, I would have snapped. You know, it, I would have snapped if I was a lesser man. You know, all those things that I have, I've ever said about myself, being very confident, very strong, and amazing, a great man, all that stuff can't be for just when times are good. It's got to be when times are like it's raining jackass men and women. No, and I'm being serious. Um, it can't be just when times are good. Seriously, uh, my character—you you can't, you know, you can't fall to pieces just because uh, the world outside thinks that you're a piece of shit, women beating, drug addict, alcohol taking, on people's money, donation money, jackass. You, you just can't. Fall, if you fall to pieces on that, then maybe you were a piece of shit. I'm not gonna fall to pieces. I'm not down at dumps. I am overloaded and overwhelmed with you know some of my good fortune i'm lucky 
to be in the situations that I've been in, and uh, I can't uh, I can't thank people uh, enough. I am uh, thankful. I I, um, I do my best. I'm I'm honored by anyone that would reach out to me in any capacity and want to befriend me or date me or wherever the case may be. I'm fortunate. I might be pushing it a little bit to be the, if I was going to be totally honest, I would say that I'm over, I'm pushing it. But, and, and before I go further, um, I do want to apologize to a, a good friend of mine. Um, I, I know uh, maybe a lot has not to do with me. I want to apologize to a friend that I reached out to. And here I am. I have no right, no reason to do the things that I do. Um, I don't care how well I feel about myself. I don't care how confident and all that stuff. I have no right to reach out to other people's life, to interrupt their life because I want something, because I want to say something. I want to be a part of this or a part of that and interrupt their life. I have no right to do those things. I did that. I am incredibly sorry for doing that i am way out of line from doing that i talked to my friend uh he or they said that was not a problem and um that's fine and dandy but i do know better and i know that's wrong of me to even think that whatever little fucking ego i have or confidence i have it's bullshit for me to do that i should have no right i have no right to into uh, interfere with people's lifestyles, fuck up their shit just because I want something from them or just because I want to be a part of their lives. That's bullshit on my part. So I apologize to those people out there. I hope they are watching and I hope they truly understand me. We've already talked. I just want them to know that I am sorry for being that, that kind of jackass, moron, arrogant fuck nut. And uh, yeah, I I do go too far. I, I I you know I can't help myself because I get on this kick where you know what I'm down to earth. I want this is what I want. Thinking about myself and the things that I want. It's not fair to people who I you know I go across. I come across and I ask for their want of their attention. It's not fair for me to do that to them. Because I want, you, are you getting my drift? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? RBJ, leave these white helpers alone, says UK <laughs> Divine Queen. Uh, these nuts, you got to pay up, JB. JB, Slabadon. What's up, Slabadon? Ah, uh, Slabadon's a guy uh, I support. Uh, go check out Slabadon's show. If I remember correctly, he's probably going at 9, 9, 9.30 tonight. And you know what? I haven't been on the show in a while. Go check him out. I'll be on tonight just to say hi and bye. I have such, such a little schedule. Go check out Slavadon's show tonight. He's on tonight. I guarantee you he's on tonight. Go check him out. I'm going to stop by his hangout right into this in the chat room say a bunch of nonsensical things and uh embarrass myself i don't care and have fun puppets galore probably who knows whatever comes to my mind i would say i don't know why i'm pointing bang 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 i don't know why i'm doing that go check out tree this is tree tv and that reminds me let's get to my show now go check out tree tv uh, i've been on the show and the guy is nothing but jazz, cool jazz. Um, I don't know what kind of musical guy he is in himself, but he just seems like cool jazz, cool. By the way, folks, do me a favor. Make sure you, share, you click the like, share, subscribe buttons, and do me the honors. Subscribe to the Jonathan Still Show and the many other channels. But the bottom line is you must subscribe to the Jonathan Still Show. I need those thousand subscribers by the end or the beginning of September. If I got 900, that might be enough to where YouTube will work with me to take the next step onward. 
However, I'm going to fall short of that. So please share the show. Help me out. Let's get the show going. And I, I promise you, I owe you. I will give you my 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 contact. My I'll give you my uh, my effort, my time, and I give you topics. I will give you reinvention and nonsense. Well, not so much nonsense. Maybe that's on a Friday. I might go into Ratchetville, USA, which I know uh, sells to the people, but maybe I won't. But I, I have topics I want to talk about. I want to talk about mental illness. I want to talk about uh, rape. I want to talk about domestic violence. I want to talk about fucking weak black men, softness in the in the, in the life. And I also want to talk about overcoming that, being confident in yourself, where you go make amends and reach out to these guys, these gal, you know, these men and women that are jackassical. But we are basically on the same side. It's just, you know, maybe they have their jealousies or insecurities or whatever it may be. Or maybe I am overthinking it and maybe I'm too arrogant for my own good. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, I know, but you can't go by me all the time because sometimes I'm the same jackass that thinks that I'm so great, magnificent, and sexy at the same time with a large penis. Can I say that? Okay, let's go on. Uh, Brian Blake, wake up, Brian Blake. These nuts is getting you are too gullible to trust cheating in words. I don't, uh, you still in Australia? Who's using these? Uh, you see, that's the friend. Um, <laughs> come with like who is white people are DJ. <laughs> All right, guys, you know my rules here. I don't like the racial talk. I don't want to hear, like, monkey and N-words and C-words. And, uh, you know, and, and it's not that I'm sensitive. I don't want that to be my program. You want that program from other people and jackasses and low life and people who are, don't want to grow, don't want to evolve. That's not what I'm about. I, I really actually do care about black people because I understand from what they have done for us. I honor those people who came before us, and I want to use racial terms like N-words and C-words and other dumb racial terms that these jackasses know who people who should know better, they don't do better. So I had lose a lot of respect for all these assholes when they go from that, when they have, quote unquote, some intellect. Uh, I have no respect for that. Let me give a shout out to Ransom. And I gave a shout out on Ransom last Friday, probably because this will be my show on Friday. It's called Good Guy versus Bad Guy. Now it will probably be called The Good Guy versus The Bad Guy. And uh, I, I will give out a shout out again to Ransom. I'm going to give a shout out to Simeon Jimenez. Simeon Jimenez is a, a guy who was a year older than me. I just turned 45. He turned 46. And he had some kind of bypass surgery, uh, gastric bypass surgery, some band around his blah, 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 and uh, so that he doesn't uh, put on excess weight. And here he is now losing weight with a diet and exercise program. And he has documented, well documented on his, on his channel. His name is Simi Jimenez. Uh, he is a subscriber of mine. I somehow, for some reason, checked him out. And I saw his little um, going forward. He didn't have to put himself out there. And here he is putting himself out there. I have nothing but respect for it. His face is there constantly. And he's showing you his weight loss. He's showing his, his struggles, psychological struggles, dealing with food and issues. And I, as a guy who likes psychology a little bit, I would love to talk to him on a reel. And I will reach out to him. I also want to reach out to a young lady named uh, Nina Unrated. Nina Unrated. Nina Unrated. Her name is Nina Santiago of Nina Unrated. Nina Unrated is a woman that is a, a beautiful woman, and she puts her life basically out there for the public consumption, uh, emotions of galore, um, you no know, prolific words being used you know family situations turn tragedy or you know terrible and it's all out there for the public consumption and if 
you watch a little bit about Nina Unrated, you will see that she's pretty consistent. You can't believe some of the stories that she's telling you, but I know better because I live the life. I know Sherry Briscoe and I know Nina Unrated. And I've heard Nina Unrated's mother. And I will tell you, Nina Unrated is, um, I, I was, I wanted to go against her initially. I wanted just a, you know, you know, pound on top of her, so to speak, relax people. And yes, I want to pound upon her. No, but seriously, uh, based on the stories you're telling you, well, it's got to be just, you know, hyperbole, hyperbole. But, you know, she's been consistent, saying the same things, mom talk, backed up by another person who's got direct evidence of the words that she's saying. Uh, I have nothing but respecting me and rated. Uh, I haven't reached out to her yet. I've just been so busy with trying to have a life here. You know, I got to find a work, got to find clients. Uh, I got to buy a vehicle. I got to make sure I have enough money for a vehicle. You know, rebuilding a life again. You know, it's my eighth time doing this. And here I go again doing it. So I, I do give a shout out to Nina Unrated, Nina Santiago, Nina Unrated. I shout her out. And I will be reaching out to her gladly and willingly and wantingly. Reaching out to Nina Unrated. If you don't know who she is, go check her out. Check out all her work. You might think that she's just a, you know, a loud mouth, angry jackass, but, you know, look deeper. She's just not only that, she's uh, a smart woman, beautiful woman, uh, takes care of herself. I, I like that. You know, which is uncommon for me in my real life because I've been with women who don't take care of themselves and they just turn to a big, you know, sloppy mess after a while and, you know, they start smelling. I'm just saying that's the truth. Nina Unrated. Oh, and also check out the Glamorous Life. It's not my kind of thing. I found it on the same tre uh, tre uh, thread as uh, Nina Unrated. Uh, the Glamorous Life, a Jewish woman, I'm going to say about 43-ish, 5-ish, 7-ish. And um, you're going to get a lot of uh, authentic talk. It's not my type of thing. I don't care about... Uh, makeup and uh, accessories and all that shit. You know, I'm not a consumer like that. I just think that, uh, you know, she is uh, someone that has some validity because she seems to be telling you the truth and you have to research that, you know, going through her videos. And I don't have any water here. I apologize. I'm not dressed up tonight. I was just outside doing wind sprints with my granddaughter, my youngest granddaughter. And I came in here. I didn't want to be that late to my show, my only show, my show. It's my show. It's the greatest show on the planet. It is. I will agree with you. It is a great show. And I'm sorry. I haven't looked into the chat room. I'm going to take a look now. And uh, I do thank you guys for stopping by and checking me out. These Nuts says, I don't need a bite from women. RBJ, are you filming a milk shack? Thank you, Black Rampage. <laughs> One King Buddha says, I got till 3 p.m. RBJ, deal with this. I got till 3 p.m. RBJ, deal with this. My advice is leave Tommy alone because you keep proving his point. Nina took hostage, hostage Reggie, and you proper people who are her. Okay. Um, um, you know what? Because I saw that before. I saw a lot of that in some statements, uh, uh, Mad, Mad, Madhead. And, wow, you know what? You, you have a point. Because I don't know all the words. Because I saw something also in the comment section about a gun and this situation. And I didn't see those yet. So I, I, I could be jumping the gun. I'm just buying in. Uh, I'm just buying into the story of her mom this house and, situ and, and and by and by no means 
uh, I say that Nina doesn't have her own share of problems. She has her own share of problems, without a doubt. Does not mean the stories and situations with her mother, with her house, with her kid, because I know that story, not my own self, from other women I have come across. I don't know about the hostages, and I've heard something about she pulled a gun on this and the other. That is fair. I don't know why I have my hand up so much. But yeah, I, I did hear that, and you know, maybe I'm jumping the gun. And uh, you you have a lot of fairness there that was actually good, and um, blah, 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 blah. I agree at Arch. I would never allow a low life member to clown me like that. I would bag his ass. Don King, your job's already taken by Jahar. All right. I don't know what you guys are talking about, these nuts, whatever you want to call it. Uh, is my Facebook open? Okay. Just be a troll. The rest of us enjoy the fuckery. Nina is a gangster. She keeps her real. All right. So, who told me that she was. Uh, Maybe the girl doesn't turn him on. I'll just scroll up and respect the chat and take a look. I actually was going to scroll up because I thought I saw some L.A. as Miles for the RPJ video. Um, oh, my God. RPJ addresses Mike Mills. That's why we are here. What? RPJ address Mike Mills. That's why we are here. Um, yeah, Don King, um, if that's why you're here, then you're in the wrong spot. So uh, you probably should go somewhere else. So bye-bye, my Don King. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what I'm here about. Uh, guns, yeah, me and me and the, me and Divine Queen and those guys are they. Those people from England and I'm from Australia. Understand that guns is bad, which is unrelated to what I'm talking about, but. Uh, you know, those countries don't have a high gun fat fatality homicide situation. In fact, maybe uh, if they got a hundred a year, it will be less than new most major cities in America by a lot. The, and by the way, the place that I know in Australia is uh, King's Cross, Sydney, Australia, which has the highest homicide rate, uh, period, it has the hom highest homicide rate per gun usage. Uh, England uh, probably is even better than that. Uh, you know, I, I don't know where to fuck. I actually wish I could I give up. Right off EJ at that. I give up. What are you giving up, Black Arch? Thumb suckers, nose like water wash. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> Thumbs like, thumb suckers, nose like. What? All right, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna put you in time up because you're not making any sense. Uh, so you get your head about you, then uh, you can make some LAU jacking up. I know, right? <laughs> uh, oh, oh L uh, that's LA. Oh, I don't know. Part of being a man is protecting your integrity and standing against anything that compromises our protection. You allow Mike to slam you. That's not being above, Ray. It's about that's bowing down. Uh, I disagree with you, Black Arch. Um, I have, I don't. I, I do it this way. I'm. I don't do ratchet stuff day in day out. I don't do ratchet stuff. Four times a week. I might do a ratchet stuff. If Jamila is ratchet, and she really is, it's really not about the ratchetness of a Jamila. It's the ratchetness of a woman with a, uh, a psychological problem who has children, a little kid that she will, is, is uh, basically a uh, kidnapping, as far as I can see. And the other kids, she's just, especially the girls, she scatters through the far ends of their world. That's my ratchet, and I will stick to that and buy into that. Um, what ratchet do I do? All right, you know that's you know that's subject to uh, 
that's subject to uh, one's uh, opinion and perception, I guess, right? You think that I do ratchet four or five times a week, then you are certainly lost. No, no, you're way lost because uh, you haven't heard my show. You haven't been on my show. You don't know anything about me. You haven't watched any videos, and you probably should not be here. And if you are that lost, I say to my mods, please, do me the favor. Do me the honor. I don't need people on the fridge. I mean, I don't mind people having a hard question for me, a legitimate hard question for me. But if you don't know what you're talking about, you probably should just go on. I can't convince you. You're already listening to other jackasses who have a worse track record than me. Believe me, when certain situations come out, you're gonna, your mind will be blown that they do what they do. And, oh man, I, I, I was, I told you, I I couldn't help but laugh. I, I couldn't believe that another man, a friend of mine, would uh, be sitting on information that um, it's something that a, a woman that I was dating would do, and this is what they want to do. This is how they want to rock and roll. You know, show me having a big penis is not the end all be all before having sex with the woman I was with. And I'm not going to mention anybody's name because. Um, I, I, I only bring it up because I just talked about it with another friend of mine on the phone. I thought it's the funniest thing in the world. I've been laughing about that since yesterday. I, oh my God, you ser- you're a dude. Was I fucking you? <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, yeah. Uh, L. L. A. on Agni, these nuts was timed out by Star. Oh, welcome, Zico's. Uh, Black Rampage, the bump dot. Oh, one second, Black Rampage. All right, stop, stop. Everybody stop and use the moderator. I am confused to Black and Proud. Black and Proud. I'm Black and I'm Proud. I can't believe that girl sent that video of you, RBJ. He played it live and you're naked pig. You must be a grower. Well, listen, um, uh, since it's out there, um, yes, I am a nine incher. And um, I, I didn't know it was out there. So, this man had a video that he was sitting on. Wink, wink. <clears throat> He was sitting on and watching her, you know, as he watched, played it over and over again, edited it, played it again, put it on his channel. I'm guessing. I don't even know this. On his channel, he has a picture of me, a video of me and my nine-inch penis uh, about to have sex with my woman on video. That's his legacy. That's what he wanted to show. A bad guy with a nine-inch penis? <laughs> that he, that's, that's the state of manhood? Are, are you serious? You showed a guy having a big penis but to have sex with his woman on a video. That's embarrassing to have a big penis? I'm lost. I'm confused. Yes, I have a big penis. Am I supposed to go to jail for that? Am I in trouble for having a big penis? Yes, I understand. Study says that white, um, uh, white Australians, that's what I, I think, as I recall it, have a 4.5 inch penis average. Black American, black humans have 5.5. I rock out at nine and a quarter to nine and a half. Is that so large that I should be ashamed? Would I have a video of another man with a big penis on my channel? Uh, no. Even if I didn't, all right. Even if I didn't have an ego, 
And by the way, I don't know what my nine inch penis has to do with uh, domestic violence or. Uh, oh. I fuck pretty good. I mean, I don't understand what's the point. I, I didn't even want to say anything. I didn't know this was already out there. I just assumed that no man would want to play another man's penis, a big penis on his channel. <laughs> I don't get that. Seems weird to me and suspect. I would almost say that is, no, no, it's highly suspect. I would never put another man's penis, another man's big penis, before he has sex with his girl on my channel. Should I apologize for having a big penis? Is this really about me having a big penis? My penis is too big? Oh, the fact that I had a big penis and I'm about to have sex with my lady? That's his legacy? I'm not going to even flag it down. I want him to live with it. I mean, shit, I shouldn't say that. That's their uh, logic. Um, I, I, um, I go with it. I am a threat. I am a scary guy. And here it is. They thought that it would just scare the shit out of me for having a big penis. I know my penis is oh, bigger than average. I'm sorry. I, I know that from science. Why would I be afraid of? How is it? What what kind of what what part of the game is this that I don't know about? What kind of the manhood I'm gonna give you back kind of game is this? Some kind of game that I don't know about? Hmm. RPJ has got a big penis. I'll fix this wagon by showing him having sex with before he having sex with his woman, him and his big penis in his hand. I'm gonna put that on my channel. I wanna be known for showing another man's penis on my channel. Because I'm getting him. This shows you how scary the uh, low rent world is. I know I, I like Mike Miller. He's a funny clown. Um, I've always said that he's been very sensitive, but I, I, I'm not gonna go into uh, bashing Mike Miller. Um, that's his thing about showing men's penises on his channel. With, I guess he probably doesn't have a big penis, obviously. Because it just seems so weird that why would you have? Well, I don't understand any man that would want to put a guy with a bigger penis than him, handsome guy like myself. Okay, <laughs> I would I would never do that. Even if they worse guys with bigger penises than me, and I'm sure there are. I don't care. I wouldn't want them on my channel. I I will never flag that channel down. I. I mean that that the video down. I want that out there. I told a friend this was was going to happen. I, you know, I I don't YouTube like that. I am going to be thankful. All right, I have a big penis. Now what? <laughs> I don't understand these guys anymore, man. I don't. Maybe I'm just getting old, and I don't understand what manhood is. How to get back at a person. How to get back at a man? Oh, I'll get you, RBJ. You and your big penis. I'm lost and confused. And yes, I don't want the show be about my big penis. <laughs> or maybe not. Now, I'm doing pretty well in the situation in the apartment. I, although I fucked up a situation. And um, maybe I there's a want of a rule of that some oh I shouldn't say that but anyway yeah uh, I can't have you know what I didn't do anything to make myself have a big penis I can't do enough push-ups or sit-ups or, or curls or anything I'll show you my biceps that I I can do something about see that I, I did. 
you saw how scrawny my arms were. Here I am, and uh, I guess three weeks, two weeks later, biceps. I, I I can't do that with my penis though. So here it is, Michael Miller, Mike Mills, sorry, Mike Miller, Mike Mills. A video of me with a big penis on his channel. That's his legacy. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even know I was going to talk about that, but based on what you guys are talking about here, um, that's what he wants to. Sh and he wants to give it. I'm sorry, sorry, I saw something before. He wants to give it to LA because LA wants to have a video of me having a big penis on his channel. If he say that to me, I, I think uh, I would throw up laughing. I think I saw something about that. LA wants copies of my big penis so he can play it on his channel. Seriously, stop. I'm going to look now. I'm going to look into the chat room. <laughs> I'll be at Amy for those shenanigans and stuff. Mike drew a horror. <laughs> I bet you can swing from branches with you. <laughs> wow, so I'm going to be the guy with a big penis on the internet. I guess that's my legacy. That legacy is talking about racist talk and monkey this and whatever n words and c words and um, I'm going to be the guy with the big penis, the good looks and big penis. I'll take it. <sighs> this is a sad that world is a sad world I, I i have to say it's a sad world i mean it was already sad and pathetic and i swear to you i'm not being a, a, a elitist in the in the least like i'm so better than they are because you know they talk about N words, C words, and you know how much he has and how much he doesn't have, and he sucks. He's a bum. He smells like shit. He's a drunk tart. He's an ugly jackass. That's so you know all that stuff. And here I am. I date a few women. Let me get upset when they when we break up. I have a big penis. People like me. The penis is still big, and I can date decent-looking women, good-looking women, and I don't show that shit off. And, and mind you, I know it sounds like I'm being arrogant now, and I'm showing that off. I've been very fortunate in my dating life throughout my life, but that's the legacy that they want. You can trump up all the domestic violence charges and uh, me being a dummy. Oh, I don't know what. I, I actually have no idea what people say about me other than, oh, I'm weird. Oh, I, I get it. I'm weird because I have a big penis. I date a lot. I date white women, Spanish women, Irish women, uh, Asian women. I'm weird. I have a big penis, apparently, obviously. I uh, I don't do ratchet talk, and I have a big penis. Other men put videos of me and my big penis up on their channel. I didn't make them do that. If I was his friend, obviously because I'm not his friend, I would have reached out to him and said, listen, Mike, I know where you might want to go with this. You're going to make yourself look really gay weird here. Show another man's black, big black penis about to have sex with his girlfriend. Even if I told them, they wouldn't believe me that they all look stupid. And there it goes integrity, credibility out the window. Oh, another woman's upset that I broke up with them. 
Another woman with mental, another woman with issues and problems and suicidals and lies about her brother fucking her and raping her. That's my fault because, huh? Oh, because you didn't like what I was doing. You were insecure. You were this and that and the other. And you couldn't stand when this person and that person wrote to me. I'm the problem. Did I not know all these things were going to happen? No, I, I, I didn't know any of this might happen. I didn't know any of this might happen. This is incredible. I can't believe what's happening here. I can't believe that people will play so easily into this. That my big penis is the story of the year. My big penis is the story of the year. Oh my God. I can't wait for you guys to do your year in reviews of your shows. Hey, story of the year, RPJ's big penis. Here's the video of his, his big penis, him stroking it as he's about to put it into the woman that he's with. He's the story of the year, RPJ, and his his use penis by men. <laughs> oh my God! I couldn't even script it. If I planned it this way, I couldn't make it this way. If I planned it this way, I would fuck it up in my bad acting. I couldn't plan it any better. I've been thinking about this for months. This is the legacy. I have a big penis and uh, I'm a bad guy for defending myself. Their legacy is talking about me and my big penis. I don't, don't know what to say to this. I don't know what to say. I don't understand your world. It's an odd little world where big penises should be negative against the averages four and a half to five and a half four and a half for white americans white australians five and a half for, and get out of here i know small dicks when i see i know small dick motherfuckers when i see them usually they are the fat stupid variety short stubby drunk variety Oh, I know. I've been accused of being drunk. I talk the same in every video. You might say that I might be drunk now because I'm talking the same now. I've been hearing that shit for fucking years. I know more, I probably my producers didn't want me to address that. I think it's the oddest thing in the world to put another man's penis on your platform that's your claim to fame i i actually have to go i want to actually go search it i'm gonna go search after my show is over download it on that person's platform and i'll play it over and over for them i i would i was i certainly would go out of my way please i if i even if i told you don't put it up just going to make you look weird and kind of gay to talk about my big penis I, if i knew this was already up i would have named the show rpj's big penis show by mike mills or whomever rebecca small uh, and, and rebecca small is a player now so uh mike michael miller of atlanta Rebecca Small of New South Wales, Australia. Once was a pretty young lady, suicidal, extremely bipolar, has been hospitalized multiple, multiple times, telling lies about the brother, beating her up and raping her daily for months and years. Lied about that. This is your, this is your claim to fame. And I'm not talking shit about her. I mean, if she's a player, she's a player. I'm a player too. I like competing. And I'm not gonna go into all the other details of her. You know, just sit with that one. Oh, what, what am I making that up? 
Didn't she not say these things on uh, whatever show? This, oh, Mike, Mil- Mike Miller show? Mike Miller, the penis, big black penis shower show? <laughs> Did she not say these things that she uh, got raped and she was raped a thousand times and beat up a thousand times by her brother? Raped? Extremely bipolar, suicidal? Oh, a frog of her dies and she wanted to kill herself. Did she not say these things? We're, we're talking truth here, right? Oh, but I beat her up. I still haven't seen the black eyes and pulled out hair and scratched face. Yeah. I, I don't think that be magnanimous because I have a wealth of information and I'm trying my best to sustain it, but I'm going to show you the shit that the shit how that he is, that takes advantage of a woman with a lot of mental illness, that shows a man with a big penis on his channel. <laughs> I don't get that game. I don't know what that means. I don't know what what's that mean. Oh wait, oh, wait a minute. Is there arterial motives here? Listen. He gets more, uh, whatever, per show. He, he does the show, right? Could it be that the interviews that I... No, it, it's not about that, is it? That I have relationships with people, friendships with people, that he's trying to get on their show? It can't be that simple. Not for a bitch-made man like that guy. Nah. Listen. I gotta go on his channel. I gotta make sure that he put a video out of me and my big penis. I wonder what he called the show. RPJ's Big Penis Show on the Mike Miller Show. <laughs> you can make this. If I told them to do it, they wouldn't do it. If I told them this is what they would do, I've been thinking about this for. I know what's on my iPhone. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind being known for having a big penis, I guess. I mean, I don't want to be known as strictly the guy with a big penis. The handsome man with the big penis. But I'll take it. What what are you going to take? The guy that shows the handsome man with the big penis? That you're playing the fame now? <laughs> I don't know this game you guys playing. What ma- what matter of manhood is this? How you getting me now? Am I ashamed of having a big penis? No. I mean, I didn't even know that my being a penis is bigger than average. All right, I kind of had an idea my penis is bigger than average, but um, I didn't go around showing my big penis off to the world. Well, not not the entire. You can promo me. I swear to you, I will never flag it. I want that to be your show on your channel. Please. I dare you. I double dare you. I beg you, please, on the Mike Miller show, please have RPJ's Big Penis show. I I beg you. (laughs) I beg you. Anyway, folks, um, I don't know how long I've been on for, but uh, I haven't looked into the uh, chat room. And I apologize. I, I didn't know that the RPJ Big Penis Show was on the Mike Miller uh, channel and the world knew. I just thought that this was a threat that was made towards me that I was laughing about. And now that I find out it is. Well, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Maybe I'm jumping a gun, and I'm probably fucked up. If I'm jumping a gun and fucked up, I apologize, Mike um, Mike Mills, that uh, I said these things, and there's no proof of it. I just assumed that one of the trolls said this, and I believed it. Because you've seen the type. You've seen the soft type. No offense to you. Soft, fat, stupid, jackasses types. And, uh, and mind you, I am not fighting with Mike Miller, because at some point you got to forgive the stupid and fat and ugly. 
No offense to the stupid, fat, and ugly. No offense. Because if I was stupid, fat, and ugly, I would want someone to give me pity. But since I'm not stupid, fat, and ugly, fuck the stupid, fat, and ugly. Please put up my big dick uh, video on your channel. I want to see that. I, I, I'm going to look for it. I swear I'm going to look for it after I hang up right now. I want to see that. I want to just uh, take a uh, nothing. Shh. Shh. That's your claim to fame. My claim to fame is that I have a big penis. Your claim to fame is you like showing men with big penises on your platform. You win. Oh, no, you don't win? You're not dating anyone now, are you? I'm dating two to three women right now. And I only say the third is because I haven't been on that date officially. They don't know I have a big penis yet. Oh, sorry. One knows I have a big penis. Whatever. I know for those people who look better, look at me and want better for me and think that I should never even come down to this level, I, I do apologize. I'm sorry. I laughed and I couldn't believe that this might, this is what people do. This is the, this is how they get back at me by being jealous of me and mad that I have a big penis. And they're gonna put me my big penis on their platform this i have to see i i just find it laughable and i want i, I definitely i, I, I want to hang up right now so i can go see that i can't believe this is it so um what time is it um i do gotta well i don't have to rock and roll but i'm so want to see my name and my big penis on some another man's <laughs> channel Popping me up with my big penis on his channel. All right, folks. By the way, go check out the uh, um, my big penis on those channels. If you're a beautiful woman and you like me and you think that um, there is some hope there, yes, I am a low life loser, psychopathic, handsome big penis man. I'll take you out. I'll treat you to a good time. Unrelated to penis, of course. And, you know, I have a great imagination. And I have a lot of energy. I'm not that stupid or stink. Because I dated a woman that stunk. I, I, I don't stink. I'm not fat. I'm not uh, ugly. And I know people who think that I'm better than this. I shouldn't be going this route. I apologize. I couldn't help myself. They give it to me so easily to, you know, shove it right back in their faces with my big penis. So I just go with it, you know. I know, I know. You guys think better than me. I shouldn't. I shouldn't even go to that level. I know. I know. I just. It's funny that you guys don't find it funny if I say to you, here are 40 year old men that um, I helped build their platform. But, uh, but you know, uh, I, I was their friend. I helped them grow their platform. Uh, whenever they asked me to come on, I came on. And the best that they, they could offer was. Hey, listen, I'm going to use your ex, who, of course, is a woman that you broke up with, who is mad at you, which I'm the only man that's ever happened to twice now. And social media has only been a byproduct of it. That's never happened to any other man ever, that a woman's upset with a man and break out with them. Did you see me make videos about all the women that broke up with me? Only the women that broke up with me, because they always said they broke up with me, not that I didn't care about them and just, 
I know you guys are saying that I'm better than this. I am better than this. I wanted to show the fools, the weak men, for who they are. I want them to go on their own platforms and see and answer those questions from other people. How many times did you look at that video of RPJ's big penis? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What would you say to that? I never looked at it. I only looked at it once. Uh, any answer is wrong. Um, I will not apologize for having a big penis. I will not apologize for using my penis inside the woman that I was going to bang that night. And I know I probably shouldn't go this route, and I shouldn't say the same things I'm saying. I, and I promise you, after this this show, I know all the people that have faith in me are just running for the hills right now. I know. Well, some of them are running for the hills. And maybe some of them are good ridden, by the way. But um, I just wanted to show those jackasses for what they are. They've always been weak simple, soft, sensitive. I'm not going to call them racist names or racial type situational names. I will never, I will never go that far or that low or that piece of shit. Like, I, it's almost the same thing as showing another man's big penis on, on my platform. Hey, Joe Blow and his big penis. Let's show a video of that. Go ahead, Joe Blow and your big penis. Here's the video of him and his big penis. Look at it. Look at it. What? I don't know. What can you say? I don't even. I, I, all right. I got to go. I want to go see this. I, I'm actually going to go look and see, look around a little bit. All right. My name is. I know you guys don't want me to hang up. Probably 46 people are watching. Shit. And um, I didn't want to get a mad head doctor. Roxy's not a friend of mine? You take that back, Killer Red. You take that back right now. I am not only a human. F you, my friend. I am not human. You take that back right now. Killer Red, you take it back. Go on. Take it back. Yes, I can do 50 push-ups. Let's kill a red eye. <laughs> I like my guys. See, I like my people. I like my guys. I love this. And, and you know what? Oh, gay to the robot. You watch that gay part. How can I be gay now? How can I be gay now? I've been obviously I date a lot of women that are upset with me when I break up with them or I don't care about them. Am I still gay? I've got nothing. Anyway, all right, folks. I do got a rock and roll. Um, I don't know what I look like. I apologize for. I didn't practice this ahead of time. I did bring extra lighting in. That's what I that I had planned for. Yeah, I know. A lot of these guys do get on their feelings. Uh, Tommy's a friend of mine, but he gets on his feelings sometimes, and he uh, gets caught in his own ego, and it's a little not called for, but he's a friend of mine. I never go against Tommy, but fuck him, too. No, I'm just kidding. My name is RPJ. I know you guys don't want me to leave, and I can do this all day long. Oh, hey, guys, hey, do me a favor. Click the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Do me the honor. You know I'm living in poverty right now. I'm living in the in the trailer down by the river. So no, but in all seriousness, I'd like to get another mic microphone. And I guess tomorrow I'm gonna try out my uh, camera microphone. But I still need a second microphone anyway for when I do talk with other people. Um, 
I'm gonna get my cable from my guy, but I can actually can go get the <clears throat> uh, audio, audio, what's the the audio, video input from camera to laptop. Uh, two different ends. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. It's two different ends. One has the uh, multiple little stingers go in, and then. The other end has the audio video one prong stinger in. The other ones going to the laptop has the you know seven, eight, nine stingers going in, skinny stingers going in. Alright, anyway, folks, I still need a few things for the show. I want to use my movie camera uh per shooting my video, uh, shooting my show, shooting my long distance video for sure. Um, I have a great situation here. I am proud of where I'm going. I apologize that I did drop to another level of nonsense. And you know what? I don't mind meeting people. I can meet people on that level of, of the intensity. I understand their, uh, their hate of me, their mistrust of me, their uh, fear of me, extreme jealousy of me. I, I copy all that. I got that way back when. I know, I already knew, you know, shit, how shit rises, but um, I'm not going to go so far to say that, you know, you can't make these things work out, and you're not making them work out for them, you're making them work out for yourself, because you need to be a bigger man, better man, better human being than those people. You're not doing it for them, you're doing it for yourselves. So at no point you should walk around having hatred for those who oppose you, those who go the way that, yeah, no, you be wary of them, but you, if you do your homework, you know what they are. You know that they're sensitive. And maybe in a way, you kind of knew these things might have been happening. You might have sort of knew these things could happen anyway. You might have sort of knew, push come to shove, what they would do because you have an idea. That's all I'm going to say about that. My name, folks, is uh, what? I'm oh, sorry, folks. Um, I thank you guys for stopping by. Three the hard, uh, killer red. You know my guys, um, my people. I do appreciate you guys and your support. Uh, don't judge me harshly for having a big penis. Judge me appropriately. Reach out to me, send me your number, and uh, who knows what could happen. Sir, seriously though, I do have rock and roll. My name is RPJ, the God King. Man with a big penis. And this has been... The Jonathan Still Show. Now get on with it, mate. Get on with it now. Go on. Oh, I see you. Later. <laughs>